Hi guys and welcome to this video. Now, how cool is this? My beloved Patience the Owl is a diamond painting. I actually got approached by Crafties to do this little diamond painting for you guys and I saw that they actually make custom paintings so I knew this was a great opportunity. This was a gift and if you do enjoy diamond painting yourself then Crafties have given me a link and promo code for you guys to enjoy which I'll put in the description below for you. To think you can get your very own artwork turned into custom paint by numbers or diamond painting kits. I think they'd make excellent gifts for friends or even yourself if you want to unwind when you're feeling like you need to take a break from the world. Now I'm very much a beginner diamond painter and this canvas is huge. It's almost the same size as the original painting. So they come with a useful sheet of tips for you, a bunch of colours for your diamonds and all of the tools that you'll need in order to make your diamond painting. Now it first suggests that I remove the entire plastic sheet when I start doing my diamond painting which I'm definitely not sure about. As someone who struggles with large tasks I'm thinking of doing it in smaller sections, smaller goals and I'm also worried about leaving too much of the adhesive exposed to dirt so yeah I'm going to do things a little differently I think. So before I started this kit I did a bit of research on how best to tackle large paintings hence why I'm going around the border where glue is exposed with a bit of washi tape to cover it up it just helps to keep things a little bit neater. Then I went over with some more washi tape to section the painting. It really helped me from getting too overwhelmed. And then I could jump into the diamond painting. I removed the area of plastic sheeting with a light craft knife and if you're gentle you can cut through the sheet without damaging the material of the painting below. I always started each section with the colour that I could see the most easily and in this case this was the darkest colour so this is like a black dark red purple colour. Honestly, at first I was actually a little bit nervous uh, about taking on this massive project. I was excited because it was being able to see my own painting as a diamond painting, which is really interesting. I also certainly at first underestimated quite how long a diamond painting takes. And actually, that's a good thing. It's nice to really slow down and enjoy the process. At first I was messy <laughs> and I don't think I really got better at placing the diamonds. I think in some cases I was a bit fiddly, a bit rushed perhaps because when I started this I was recording everything and when you think about the hours that I've actually went into making this painting and I've condensed it down into about 10 minutes it's 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 wild. I think this painting probably took me you know, it took me a several hour sessions over the course of a few weeks and I really enjoyed the whole placing of the diamonds and kind of zoning out. At first I thought this would be a rushed project. I thought, oh, I could get this done in a couple of weeks, it'd be no problem. And when I was filming everything, I was actually getting a little bit too tired. And then eventually I decided I'm gonna start doing this painting as and when I wanted to kind of zone out. There were days where I was pretty stressed from things going on outside of my kind of art life. So I was like, do you know what? I'm going to use this opportunity. I'm not going to film it. I'm just going to zone and focus on the diamond painting. And it's amazing what diamond painting does to my brain. I don't know if you experience it. And if you do, let me know in the comments. But everything else kind of disappeared. I was no longer focused on the things that I couldn't control. There's lots of stuff going on that were really stressful. But when I was putting the diamonds to the glue and I was listening to the snap of the, the glue and the diamonds hitting the plastic, I was really, really sort of at peace. And I think having Patience the Owl become a diamond painting in this kind of sort of symbiotic way, it was really, really healing. It did take a long time to get this painting done, but I think that's the beauty of it. And you'll see that, you know, as a part of this video, there are massive chunks missing where all of a sudden huge pits of the painting are finished, but that's because I was doing it on my own time. And I loved that. I, considering I'd never done a diamond painting really before this day, and I didn't anticipate quite how long it would take. I was quite naive to it. But then when I got into it, I was like, do you know what? This is this is a fantastic hobby. And I highly recommend it to anybody who hasn't tried it yet. I even got to the point where I was like, I'm not happy with the tools that I have. These are a bit maybe plasticky for me. So I went out and I got myself some upgraded tools, some nice resin barrels with some metal tips. and. That increased, you know, the ability of placing the diamonds in itself. It became so much easier and now I've got a nice, like, sturdy tool 
uh, to, to place my diamonds with and I'm definitely interested in doing more diamond kits in the future perhaps as a hobby or something just to help me escape when feeling a, a little bit stressed with the world. Considering how much I love this painting it's so wonderful to see her come together as a diamond painting as well. I've sold her as prints before and she's like limited edition uh, no longer available anyway but I was thinking of ways that I could perhaps bring patients back in sort of alternative manner. I wanted to keep the limited edition print run because that's the whole point is it was limited edition. But I thought maybe it'd be quite nice to have patients as a diamond painting. She's not available at the moment. She's not one that uh, you can go out and buy right now. It's something I would like to work on. Uh, so if you are interested in getting Patience the Owl as a diamond painting for yourself, please, please let me know so I can pass it on to crafties and see that there's, a, there's an interest for that and perhaps I can make it happen. Uh, someone I know suggested getting her turned into a cross stitch pattern, which is something I can do as well. I think uh, because this painting is just, uh, I, I don't know, I'm smitten with her. I'm so, it's one of the one of the paintings I'm the most proud of that I've created in my kind of art career so far. To share her with the world would be very special and things like diamond painting, uh, cross stitches, perhaps colour by numbers, something like that would be a really lovely way to share her with, with people who you know, want to focus on the beauty of the colours here and to have their own version of patience come to life. One other thing that I was thinking of doing is that I don't anticipate myself keeping the uh, completed diamond painting of Patience. I've got the original and uh, as beautiful as this diamond painting is, perhaps she could go to someone who will enjoy her more. I was thinking of actually auctioning her off for a charity. Uh, if that's something that you'd be interested in, keep an eye out because I am planning that uh, in the future. I was thinking of raising money for a owl sanctuary or some raptor sanctuary that's near me uh, here where I live and I think that'd be a really nice way to raise a little bit of funds for them and also to find a new home for this uh, completed diamond painting. Now if you've stuck out the video this far let me know in the comments and drop a little owl emoji so I can see that'd be really cool. So at this point in the video I'm actually coming to the end of the painting. This is the, the last section, there was a massive chunk of these kind of black uh, diamonds which took quite a long time to fill out surprisingly. Uh, but it was still very therapeutic and I was really enjoying the entire process. I was placing with my new diamond picker tool, I was getting better at placing the diamonds, I like to think anyway, uh, and I was just so proud to see this painting come to life. It was really therapeutic and really enjoyable. Lastly, I want to give a quick shout out to all of the guys on the inside of the Inspiration to Creation Collective, the dedicated monthly art subscription service to help you find your creativity among your art family. So if you do want to come and join us, there will be information in the description below for you. Get weekly paint and sips, monthly projects and general guidance from people who love and support you. I really hope you've enjoyed this video so do let me know are you interested in diamond painting is it something that you've tried before are there other sort of crafty hobbies that you think are really good for kind of clearing and sort of helping the soul when it's feeling tired and worn out I'd love to hear about it uh, so yeah now that I've come to the end of this painting what I do is uh, I don't show it here but I go off I will trim the edges of the, of the painting itself I will seal it all up with uh, watered down PVA glue and that stops any of the diamonds falling off, which I think is a really nifty idea if anybody is in the middle of a diamond painting and wants to stop their diamonds from falling off. Water down PVA glue and this little magical roller which helps kind of click any of those loose diamonds back into place. So yes, thank you so much guys. I really appreciate you sticking around. Uh, I very much hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Look how beautiful this painting is as a diamond painting. She's become so stunning and the shimmer of the diamonds is just something else. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day, wonderful week. Uh, get creative and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Goodbye guys. Mm -hmm.